All right, folks, today I'm going to talk about the intent of my videos. I doubt I'm going to show, break down any real techniques, but um, I'm going to get a lot of criticism on my videos, so I'm just going to start this off the best. Um, I am not, and obviously do not think I am, um, Bruce Lee or some amazing fighter. I was injured a couple of years ago. Um, my weight has gone up because of those injuries and the medications involved. Um, so I'm not gonna try to make an excuse for my fat. Um, the point of this video series is because of that, I'm working on losing weight. So by losing that weight, I need to do exercise. Now, the problem is, is that I wanted the exercise I was doing to benefit someone. Um, me running does benefit myself, but it's not interesting and it doesn't do anything but for me. So what I decided I would do is try to teach a little bit of self-defense to maybe ladies or they thems or men that maybe feel scared. Maybe we're never taught how to fight. So I thought I'd turn it into a self-defense vlog and maybe do something with it. Now, I am not by any means trying to say that I'm on the level of Doug Marqueda, Bobby Tabota, Inosanto, um, other combat systems you've seen, they are much better than me. I'm no fool, but my stuff is free and it's helping me get active, okay? So, I called this Greater Than Zero Concepts. The reason it's called Greater Than Zero Concepts is every fight I've ever been in was a complete shit show. I may have learned great techniques, but what? But when I was actually in the situation, it all came down to a bunch of uh, unorganized um, different fights. So the techniques, nothing was pretty. It just was kind of instinct. And by training, it became instinct. Um, muscle memory, you know what I mean? Understanding that when I saw that hand go for that knife, that to not let him get it in the first place. I didn't let him pull it and then get stabbed or try to do my cool trick because it was probably not going to work. So, now that we've gotten that out of the way, the reason it's called greater than zero is because that's all I'm trying to do is make make survivability chances greater than zero. I'm not trying to turn you into some kind of special forces soldier. So we're going to go over some rules before you even watch my videos. As a medical provider, EMT, which is where I got in my fights, um, I found out very quickly that there are five rules. One is prevention. As a medical provider with any disease, the best way to stop that disease is to prevent in the first place. So if you think or your gut's telling you that you're getting into a bad situation, screwdriver, stay out of it. You don't need to go into that situation. I'm trying to keep you alive. So use what you already know. Secondly, the most important thing is footwork. So because of footwork, running away from an attacker is a valid form of footwork. I don't expect you to stay there and fight. 
Now, if you have to fight, do not get taken to a secondary location. Chances of being found if you get taken somewhere else are slim and none. Or none, but you get my point. Your last roll is if you have to fight, get a force multiplier. In other words, a weapon. And use whatever's around you. Your keys, a full pot can, you know what I mean? Use, this is survival. This is not MMA. Use what's going to work, especially if you're a woman. I don't expect you to have power, guy. I expect you to fight dirty. Not hitting the bait, just making the motion. Now, from here, crack. See? And that's my point. Find yourself a weapon. Use what you have on you for impact. Use keys. Use a glass bottle. Scratch. Bite. But this is about coming home alive. And if you're what some people would say cowardly or dirty doing so, you can say, ha ha, I'm alive. And now, the final rule, last resort, if the first four don't work, and only if the first four don't work, now it's time to fight. So, I hope that explains these concepts a little bit better and explains my intent. I know I look like a gravy seal, and I'll accept that criticism, but I want to make your chances, as the title suggests, greater than zero. Thank you, folks. I appreciate it.